bunch of 10 you win uh, the America's Got Talent or Swedish Got Talent exactly. show. Yes. You release a single off the show and then you take years off. Yeah. You decide, <laughs> well, what, why? Because when I won it, like the single was actually the song I won with, which was My Heart Will Go On. And I was 10 back then, so nobody really wanted to sign me. Because yeah. they were like, what are we supposed to do with you? It's a 10-year-old yeah. singing Celine Dion. Like, where do you but, go? But I was I was so sad and devastated because I was like, okay, nobody wants to sign me. I'm 10. Like, mm -hmm. my career, it's, it's over. Wow. Yeah. But um, then I got signed when I was 14, so I was like, well, it's not actually over. Sarah eventually got signed 2012 to 10 Music Group in Stockholm. That's where she started the process of becoming a real artist. In 2012, Sarah went to school like a normal 14-year-old kid. She had not released any song for many years. But she had a blog that she used in order to stay relevant. It turned out to be a good thing to do, because in 2014 she won two prizes at the Blog Awards in Sweden. She won prize for Celebrity Blog of the Year as well as the Blog Rocket. Another thing she would do before her career as a singer was to upload videos to YouTube. December 2012. After it had been leaked on other media, Sarah released her first song on cover on YouTube. Nobody sings. No Nobody knows. We are a secret. Can't be exposed. That's how it is. That's how it goes. Far from the others. Close to each other. In the daylight, in the daylight, when the sun is shining On the late night, on the late night, when the moon is blinding In the plain sight, plain sight, like stars in hiding You and I burn on, on Put two and two together forever, we'll never change Uncover was a part of Sarah's first EP, Introducing, that was released in January 2013. So, uh, a lot of people didn't recognize me when I first released my EP, which was a good thing, I think, as well, because I wasn't that talent girl, you know? But, yeah, so since I was 15, I think I, I've done it for real. I usually don't count the first five years. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> you, were, you were grinding, though. Right? I mean, very low key. Low key grinding. Very, very low key. I didn't even tell my friends I was okay. going to the studio. I don't know why I did that. I was, I was a bit weird with that. But I just, I've always been that kind of person who, uh, I want the, I want the success to talk the talk. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I don't need to say to every, like, oh, I'm in the studio cooking up some heat like every day. You know what I mean? Like whipping up some yeah. shirt, whatever. They call it. <laughs> <laughs> no, so uh, if things were going, if things were gonna be good, then they they would hear it, you know. The EP also included songs like "Worlds Collide." And under my shades. But there were one song that would give Sarah her big breakthrough. Yes, you guessed it. It was Uncover. After her first performance on TV at the QX Gay Gala, the song took the number one spot on iTunes in Sweden. I really went 
went back to school and I did school stuff. Um, and I still love music and I wanted to, to be a musician and an artist, obviously, but I wasn't really talking about it to my friends. Um, I don't really talk much about what I'm doing to my friends and stuff. Do you still have friends from back in the day? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But you know, whenever I went to the studio, sometimes I said I'm just gonna go home and study mm -hmm. and stuff because I don't know why I didn't say that I was going to the <laughs> studio. But then when um, Uncover, which was the the number one song in Sweden only because it was released in Sweden when I was 15 from my first EP, then I could say, oh, you know what? I actually do music. Because I have a number one song. Right. You know? <laughs> it's kind of hard to hide that at some point. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I just felt like the music could speak for itself. Yeah. Um, and if it was going good, it could speak for itself. But in between that, I just, you know, I went to school. I was hanging out with friends. She then began touring her music in Sweden. But there was one performance that would be the biggest of them all. It was the Nobel Peace Prize concert. Sarah had managed to become a famous singer 2013 in Sweden with her first EP. Introducing is now certified triple platinum in Sweden. In May 2013 Sarah managed to get a three-year contract with Epic Records. A company in the US owned by Sony. A lot thanks to Uncover. This contract would in the future allow Sarah to release music outside of Scandinavia. But in the meantime she kept on touring in Sweden and some other countries.
Nu, nu blir det som en sån här sportfråga, men hur känns det? Kan du ta in de här framgångarna? <laughs> det, det är lite svårt faktiskt. Ja. Eftersom att jag har ett vanligt liv. Jag är med mina vanliga kompisar och jag, jag, jag tänker inte på det så mycket egentligen. Men kommer du över det ibland, de här siffrorna? Och... Ja, men det är lite sjukt när man, jag lyssnar alltid på Spotify på mina mm. idoler. Så ser jag mig själv så här längst upp. Och det är bara så här... Men det är svårt att ta in det. Där. In 2013, the hit single on cover peaked at number one in charts in Sweden, Norway, as well as number three in Denmark. Sarah's first step towards taking over the world had started, but Sarah always had bigger dreams. Um, you know, I would love to do a world tour, mm -hmm. like a proper one, and uh, have uh, at least one Grammy, at least three Grammys, <laughs> and then a couple of number one on Billboard. I think that's all yeah. admirable things to look for.